Hello there, and welcome to my Starship Emporium. Today, we're at the new Emporium showroom, just down the road from the other one. This one has different lighting to give a lovely view of the best ships in No Man's Sky. And looking round, it's nice and comfortable, although I'm not sure it's finished just yet. In this video, we're going to look at an addition to the white, chrome and red fleet I've been collecting for your viewing pleasure. From now on to be called the NMSA Fleet. We've got four ships so far. Three with us today. We've got the tiny yet marvellous Dan and Joe's Triumph. A little Razza, all chrome with white and red with a droid. Lovely. And of course then we have the sublime Halcyon Wings, a personal favourite of mine, my daily driver. Amazing ship. And of course, we've got Captain Steve's own Ushio's Prize, or now called the Captain Steve Interceptor. We've also got Udaman's Parallax Auditor, not with us here today, but can be seen in last Saturday's special video. They're all chrome, white, with red accents. So let's go and take a look at the latest edition. And here she is. How about this? Stunning. The Owl of the Caraza. Posted on Reddit by user QX403. An amazing find, thank you. We have a barrel nose fighter, droid wings, single thruster with E wing extensions, mainly chrome and white, accented with red. Quite a looker. Getting up close from right the front, we've got the blade at the very, very front of the engine intake. Light green triangle on that one. Another lovely piping coming down the side. Into the extra detail underneath the cockpit. And there's our E-wing extension. Intakes at the front there and the winglets in the end are white. And on the inside, they're chrome. Lovely detail. Then we can see the thrusters at the back of the droid wings. Main engine thruster with that signature red band. Around the wings on the other side takes us to the cockpit and there's a decal in there can't quite make it out I don't think it's anything particular but there's no number on this one just that strange red sign pipes coming down the barrel there with the glowing connector and up on top we've got the red panel this time on the top of the barrel leading back over the engine pipes. And there's Droidy with a little red hat. Red markings on top of the wings. There she is on the ground. To space. If you're enjoying this video, do hit the like button. It really helps the channel. And there we are in space. There she is. Lovely colours in that starlight. The chrome here, it looks really dark and black. Black and white and red. Now on the barrel there, we've got our yellow landing lights, our navigation lights, antenna at the front, and the E wing. Another one of those green triangles there on the droid wing, same as the front blade. There's our thrusters at the back from the droid wings, main thruster on the other side. And another interesting decal there, along with the detailing behind the cockpit. Those E-wing extensions I think actually suit this quite nicely. Gives that more wide stance, makes it a little bit more aggressive. And yet it's still not over proportioned. You're not going to see another ship like this anytime soon.
really quite aggressive. Some cracking details. There's Droidy. I think this makes a good addition to the fleet. A bit more punchy. See you right in the battle. And that chrome in the starlight just shines beautifully. So there we have it. The Owl of the Karaza. The latest addition to the NMSA fleet. And if you've seen a candidate to join the fleet, let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to join my fabulous subscribers, please feel free to click the button and hit the bell thingy. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.